posted a really important video that uh, if you missed it, uh, hit the pause button, go watch it. It's about nine minutes long and it talks about how you can develop during this coronavirus time, right? As schools start shutting down, as your team starts shutting things down for the spring, um, a lot of kids' high school teams have stopped playing, stopped training, uh, stopped playing games, tournaments. Like, that's a really important video, and that's really the foundation of the upcoming videos that I'm going to be posting here. Um, and now today, though, I wanted to give you some tactical examples of things that you can use to develop during this time because you have more free time. Right? If you're not going to school right now, um, you have a lot more free time. Even if you're doing online classes, uh, you're probably not doing online classes for eight hours a day. So I know you have more time and what you do with your time is up to you. And like I said yesterday, the 1% of players that really go on and succeed are the ones who do the little things right. All right. And today I'm going to be talking about some little things that you can be doing that will give you an advantage and a boost when you get back to your regular life once this is done, all right? When you're, you're regularly training Tuesday, Thursdays, or Monday, Wednesday, or you practice every day with your high school team, these things will keep you sharp and they'll, they'll help you get better, all right, before you get back there, all right? So I'm going to start with the first one here on the left side of the screen. It says push-up goal. Now this is a, a website I recently found and I love it. It's called 100pushups.com. And just, you can hit the pause button and go there if you want, but they have a free uh, push-up program. And the good thing about push-ups is you don't need a lot of space. You can do that inside, you can do it anywhere. Um, and the goal of that program is to get you to do 100 push-ups in a row. And I know most players out there can't do that. And it's a structured six-week program. And personally, I really like the program. Uh, I've been doing it for a couple months now. Um, and I've seen a noticeable difference in the amount of push-ups I can do. And that's something I would want you to do as like a regular routine. Like, do push-ups every day. Um, and I know in that program, I think there's a one or two-day break every week, um, depending on which level that you decided to do at the beginning. Um, but that can be a great way to get stronger if you don't have access to a gym. And for me, push-ups is more of like a mental thing. Um, I know when I was younger, when I was, when I was playing soccer, uh, and, you know, club soccer, high school soccer, when I did more push-ups mentally, I just felt stronger. And I knew that my opponents weren't doing those. So it made me go into tackles and 50-50s a lot more aggressive because I knew I was not only physically probably stronger, but mentally I knew I was doing more work than them. All right, that's a great resource. Go check that out. The next one is structured training programs, like skill programs. This is what I've specialized in um, in the last five years. We've created a lot of different products and programs on our website. I don't really feel like I need to sell you anything. Um, I mean, our products speak for themselves. Like we've had you know thousands of kids around the world go through them. I've seen great results. If you're the type of uh, player who needs something structured, where it's like, all right, on Monday, do this. On Tuesday, do this. Do it for this amount of time. Like, everything's very structured within there. Um, and a lot of those programs you can do inside. Like, you can do it from a garage. You can go right outside your house and, and use a wall if you need to. Um, a lot of kids use our programs from their bedrooms. Right? You don't need to have a lot of gear. You don't need a lot of space. Um, they're very simple to follow. And if you go check out my website, onlinesoccerskills.com, uh, you can see a list of the programs we have there. Um, we also have an all-access pass that gives you access to like all the programs we've ever produced. Um, so again, you can go check that out if technically, if you want to improve in that area. All right, the next one, which I think is really, really important, is start studying highlight film, right? And you can do that by watching other players on, uh, on YouTube. Just simply type in like messy highlights and 
watch his watch his movement off the ball. Watch his movement when he has the ball. Watch his first step. See how he's creating space. Um, you can do that for essentially every player. If you're a goalie, uh, if you're a defender, attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, striker, wh whatever you play, you can find players that are pros and start studying, see what they do. And I know there's other great YouTube channels out there that, that have awesome resources that essentially they do that for you. Um, can't think of those off the top of my head. Um, and then also too, like I know uh, I don't watch a lot of YouTube, um, but I have seen like, if you go to, I think become elite, um, I know he breaks down a lot of his games. Um, so again, that's a great person to learn from. He's a pro you should be learning from someone like that. Um, and if you have your own highlight film, go go upload it to YouTube and go dissect it. Go see what you're doing. Um, that's a great way to learn. Doesn't take that much time. And uh, I think learning from others, especially learning from others that are ahead of you, is very key and critical. So that, that's something that you can definitely do during this time uh, where you have a lot more free time, all right? Now, these last two are probably the two that most kids that watch this are, are going to skip. And I'll tell you, these are the most two important things. And I, I not only tell you that as, you know, if you're, if you're a soccer player, but I'm talking about, too, if you're an adult, like when you get older and you, you run a business or you have a job that is, requires a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of focus, like these last two things are game changer. And to me, it's, it defines, uh, you know, those who become really successful and those who don't. All right. And the first is create a daily planner. Um, I can send you a daily planner that you can print off if you want that. Um, just comment under this video with the word planner. And then from there, I'll, I'll show you how you can download that. All right. And essentially what this is, is before you go to bed at night, you write out what you're doing tomorrow. So for example, for me, like when I wake up in the morning, I don't just wake up and figure out my day, right? That's the worst thing I could do. If I do that, I'm on everyone else's time. And this is what 99% of people do, even adults. Most adults live their life that way. And I want you to start developing the habits now when you're younger to create a planner, like know what you're doing. So this requires maybe five minutes of time at the end of every day, and you write out, hey guy, like, hey, this is what I'm doing tomorrow, all right? And you write out hour by hour what you're doing. And when you do that, your day is very organized. And what happens is you end up having a lot more free time. And you start to notice where you spend all of your time, where you get distracted. And there's a lot that you can do during a day if your day is planned. And there's a lot that you can't do during the day if your day is not planned. So hopefully that makes sense. And again, if you want uh, a template, I can send it to you. Go just below this video to scroll down and type in planner. And I'm gonna put together a very simple planner that you can print out um, and you can keep forever. And uh, that will really, really help you here. Um, and the last one here is eat clean and sleep clean, <laughs> right? And what I mean by that is you know, I know right now it's in the U.S. Like they're closing grocery stores and they're and they're 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 starting to shut stuff down. They're not closing grocery stores. They're limiting the time that you can spend in there. So be conscious about what you're eating, right? If you eat a bunch of junk from the grocery store, that's going to slow you down. If you eat really clean during this time, that's going to really help you perform better when you get back into a regular uh, training routine. And you should be in a regular training routine as we speak right now, even if you're not able to play with your teammates, right? And when you eat cleaner, right, and you sleep cleaner, which means like you're getting probably seven to nine hours of sleep, um, you're not staying up till four o'clock in the morning on TikTok or Instagram. Like if you wanna waste your life away, go for it, right? But guess what? The, the kids on your team who eat better than, or they eat cleaner than you, sleep cleaner than you, they're gonna get more playing time than you, right? And that's your choice. That, that means you're making the decision to step up or just be like everyone else, right? And you can stick to that a lot easier when you have 
a planner, right? My planner, it tells me, hey, this, Ben, this is when you're going to bed, right? I'm not guessing, and I live my life based on what that planner. And I, I can tell you, just being an adult, like, if you have that when you're younger, your, your adult life becomes a lot easier, right? Something I never did when I was a kid. I never had a planner. I, I never did that until I started a business. Um, and I wish I would have done it before then. That would have helped me a lot more when I first started my business. Um, and that would have helped me a lot more when I was a kid, all right? I would have been way more disciplined with my time if I, if I had that skill set. So again, these are all skills that you can work on. I'm gonna do a quick recap. So, Physical fitness, like you're doing push-ups every day. Um, getting the technical training, all right? If you want a structured training program, go to my website. You, could, you can pick from there. There's a lot of stuff that, that you can choose from. Uh, go watch highlight film. Um, look at those resources I talked about. Um, create a daily planner and comment below this video and I'll send you, I'll send you one. I'll do it probably within the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and then lastly, eat clean, sleep clean. Take care of your body. Like don't just, consume a bunch of garbage during this time, all right? You gotta be smart about what you're doing. And um, hopefully these five skills are, are things that you focus on uh, because you have a lot of time right now. And again, how you spend your time is is going to define how, how good you're gonna get at soccer. Um, and it's gonna define a lot in, in your life. So uh, you take it however you want. Um, I'm just trying to tell you the truth here. <laughs> and. Uh, that's it guys, um, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow for a new video.